Ever feel like you're on a treadmill you can't get off? Always chasing that next goal, that next possession, the next thing. What if I told you there's a different path, one that leads to a surprising amount of contentment? We're about to take a deep dive into the world of Zhuangzi, an ancient Chinese philosopher who was way ahead of his time in realizing that maybe, just maybe, less is actually more. What's fascinating about Zhuangzi is that he wasn't advocating for just decluttering your house, it was about decluttering your life. He believed that true freedom comes from within, from understanding and connecting with your true self, not from chasing external validation or possessions. Okay, let's unpack that. He has this great analogy in one of the sources, comparing life to a party versus a quiet afternoon in the park. Right. Imagine a bustling party. Yeah. It's exciting, stimulating, there's a lot going on. But after a while, the noise and the crowds can be overwhelming. You're completely right. Sometimes you just want to escape to that peaceful park. It makes you realize, when do you feel most yourself, listener? When are you truly at peace? Is it in the middle of chaos? Or is it when you find those pockets of quiet in your life? Exactly. And Zwanzi believed those quiet moments are where we connect with our true selves and where we find true and lasting happiness. Not fleeting pleasure, but genuine contentment. So how do we apply this to our lives, especially when we're bombarded with messages telling us we need more of everything? It can feel like we're constantly being pulled in a million different directions. It's about being more mindful about where you direct your energy. For example, let's say you're feeling stressed by your possessions, by all the stuff. Maybe instead of buying more, you focus on experiences or on deepening relationships. Or maybe it's about letting go of certain commitments that no longer bring you joy. It's not about deprivation. It's about making conscious choices that align with what truly matters to you. What's one thing that feels excessive or burdensome in your life right now, listener? And on the flip side, what's one simple thing that brings you genuine joy, that quiet afternoon in the park feeling? Hold on to those thoughts. If Zhuangzi were to time travel to today, what do you think he'd say? I think he'd encourage us to step back from the constant noise and ask ourselves, what is truly important? What brings us lasting peace? He might even say that our obsession with more is actually a distraction from living a truly fulfilling life. That's something to think about, isn't it? So as you move through your day, try to notice those moments where you feel that sense of calm, of being truly present. It might just lead you closer to what you've been searching for all along. And hey, maybe skip the crowded party next time and opt for a peaceful park bench instead. You never know what you might discover.